It's the last part of the advanced training on repeat loops. Repeat loops are used when you ask a question or a series of questions multiple times. The answers are stored in a variable just like everything you've done so far, but the variable holds multiple values, one for each run through of the loop. This is what's known as an array. If you have not used an array in any other programming language, it will be easier to see how this works by demonstrating it rather than trying to explain it. Let's set up a repeat in our expungement form. Draw a field over each cell in the table in the middle of the form. In the top field on the left column, create a new text variable called case number TE. In the top field on the right column, create a new date variable called case date DA. Highlight all the fields. right-click, and select Group as Table. With the table selected, click on the Field menu and click Repeat. Name the repeat Case Table and click the Edit Component button. Under Style, make sure Repeated Series is selected. Drag Case Number TE and case date DA into the contents window. Click OK, then click Show Advanced. You should set up this repeat to work with the addendum that we just created. Click the Edit Component button to the right of Filtered By. Name the variable Case Filter. In the script window, type COUNTER in all caps less than 6. Click OK. This will only put the first five entries in the repeat in the table on this form. Now switch to the addendum. You can copy the table from the main form into the addendum. Save yourself having to draw each of these fields individually. Double click. Under Filter By, select the drop down menu and select the blank entry. Click the Edit Component button. Under Variable Name, type Case Filter Addendum. Under Script, type Counter Greater Than 5. Click OK. Get back to the main form and create a new computation variable. Click the Component Manager and click New Component. Select Computation. Let's call this variable addendum conditions CO. Let's type if count case table greater than 5 returns true 
else if length petitioner justification TE greater than 300 also returns true and if. What this statement will do is if the count of the case table is greater than 5, it sets the value of this computation to true. Otherwise, if petitioner justification TE is greater than 300 characters in length, the computation variable is also set to true. It's a good time to mention that you can put comments in these scripts to explain to people what you're trying to do. type two forward slashes and write whatever you want to write. The text should turn green, indicating that it has no effect on the script. It's a good idea to put comments in scripts that might be confusing for people reviewing your work. Let's click OK. Now click the field properties button with the insert addendum.hpt field highlighted. Erase the if statements that's in there right now and click the if field button. Click if expression. Find the computation variable we just created. Type equals true. Test assemble. I've already entered information for eight cases here. Notice that the first five cases appear in the case table on the main form. The next three appear in the case table on the addendum. Using a computation variable like the one we just created allows you to make several conditions for deciding whether to insert an addendum. This completes the Hot Docs advanced training.